rising. We've no time to lose. He's just resting, waiting for a new life to come. Climb up and cut the rope. No. Go on, it can't hurt you. Here's the knife. Is it all right? The neck's broken. The brain is useless. We must find another brain. Here we have one of the most perfect specimens of the human brain that has ever come to my attention at the university. And here, the abnormal brain of the typical criminal. At night, the winds howl in the mountains. There is no one here. Prying eyes can't peer into my secret. What can he mean? Herr Frankenstein was interested only in human life. First to destroy it, then recreate it. There you have his mad dream. The storm will be magnificent. All the electrical secrets of heaven. And this time we're ready. There's nothing to fear. Nope. No blood, no decay. Just a few stitches. And look, here's the final touch. The brain you stole, Fritz. Yes. Think of it. The brain of a dead man, waiting to live again in a body I made with my own hands with my own hands. Elizabeth, please, won't you go away? Won't you trust me just for tonight? Are you quite sure you want to come in? Forgive me, but I'm forced to take unusual precautions. I have discovered the great ray that first brought life into the world. Oh, and your proof? Tonight you shall have your proof. And you really believe that you can bring life to the dead? That body is not dead. It has never lived. I created it. I made it with my own hands from the bodies I took from graves, from the gallows, anywhere. Quite a good scene, isn't it? One man crazy, three very sane spectators. Oh, in the name of God! Now I know what it feels like to be. Have you never wanted to do anything that was dangerous? Where should we be if nobody tried to find out what lies beyond? The brain that was stolen from my laboratory was a criminal brain. You have created a monster and it will destroy you. What can we do? Kill it, as you would any savage animal. Dr. 
Dr. Bowerman. Are you hurt? No, no, I'm all right. It's nothing. What's happening here? Elizabeth and your father are coming up the hill to see you. You must keep them out. Too late. They must not see that. Here, quick. Yes. Give me a hand. Quick. Well, uh, pretty sort of place for my son to be in, I must say. What will happen to the records of my experiment? We will preserve them. And, and... I will see that it is painlessly destroyed. No. Yes, yes, leave it all to oh. me. For three generations, these orange blossoms have been worn at our weddings. Who are you? I'm Maria. Will you play with me? No, you're hurting me! No! Henry, I'm afraid. Terribly afraid. Henry! Dr. Fosman! has been murdered. Yes. Remember, get him alive if you can, but get him. Yes. 